Hey, welcome back. I have a neat little tool right here. It's called a thread pitch gauge. If you don't know what one is, I'm going to show you right now. If you don't know what thread pitch gauge is, this is what it looks like. There's many teeth. There's a standard side and a metric side. But a little bit of knowledge about metric and standard pitches. Standard is actually measured in how many threads you can fit in an inch, while metric is actually the distance between the peaks right here. So you'd have a peak there and a peak there, and that would be measured in millimeters. So I'm going to give you a little demo and show you how to use a thread pitch gauge. So I have a couple taps here. I have my Starrett card. If you don't have one, go get one of these. I'll have a link in the description to go pick one up. They are fairly cheap. My mid Toyo calipers. These are really high quality. Uh, this is an 8 inch. Definitely recommend one of these or get a Starrett equivalent. They're very nice. Let's just say I do not know what these taps are and we gotta try to figure it out. We'll start with the big one first. So first I'm gonna take my calipers and try to get it. It's 477. Um, if you come over to your chart, 477, we really don't have a number that matches a uh, fractional for 477 so it's probably not standard. I'll switch over to my metric side it says 12 we'll just uh, we could have bumped it we'll, uh, give it a little spin get the high side it's 12.14 .14 ain't that much bigger it probably is bigger because it's a tap so it's cutting it into there and that's uh Say we got 12 millimeter, so it's either 1.75 or uh, 1.25. Uh, we'll try 1.75 first, just because it uh, looks like it's a coarse thread. We'll get to our metric side and we'll look for 1.75. 7.5, which is right, we'll try to focus on it, come on, there we go, we got our 1.75 uh, thread pitch gauge for uh, metric, and so, Come back here, we'll line up our threads. Ooh, let's see if I can try to. And it should match up perfectly if I can get it on camera. Be and zoom in on that. See, uh, see, the teeth will match up perfectly with that tap. And if you want to help your eyesight, all you gotta do is look up to a light and see how much light passes through, and it should be even on each side of the teeth. So now that we know it's a M12 by 1.75, we can do the next one. Okay, now we got our next tap. Um, I already know what this is, but say we don't. I'm still in metric on my calipers. Could have spent at 6.44, which I go on my steric card. It really doesn't, or let's see, 
it really doesn't match anything metric because there's not a six and a half uh, thread, so it must be standard. It says 0 0.253. We'll just give it another measurement. 0.251. So it must be a quarter inch. And it looks fairly coarse. So I'm guessing it's probably a quarter 20. But you only have two options, quarter 20 and quarter 28 for quarter inch threads. So uh, we'll go on our standard side and look for 20 threads per inch, which is behind this one. We can uh, focus on that. That's uh, 20 threads per inch. So we take. Oop. Let's see if we can get that. We'll just get a measurement. Nope. Doesn't look like 20 threads per inch. It's not coarse. So let's grab our 28. Twenty-seven. Yeah, these gauges have a lot of different kind of pitch uh, thread pitches because you can pretty much make whatever you want on a lathe. We'll take our twenty-eight. and that matches up pretty damn close. So what we have here is a quarter 28, and that's why this is a big deal, so you can actually find out what threads you have instead of just guessing and uh, just going by calipers or what you feel. So I highly recommend picking up one of these, throw it in your toolbox, they're uh, invaluable because you might use them all the time if you want to get one of these I have a link in the description and thanks for watching